There's a brand new community event in the final starting in patch 2.4.0 and the challenge for you is to push the power shift platform 10 times around Earth. Doing so, you'll achieve the pink hi-fi boombox. Also, there's a leaderboard which you can climb to show the top players contributing. All right, so you can check out the full patch notes, of course, in the description, but as you guys know, I'm here to provide you with the highlights, and one of them this week is actually a huge change to functionality with projectiles. That's right, grenades, RPGs, MG32L and the CL40 grenade launchers, uh, they can now actually pass through friendly teammates instead of just basically bounce off them. I mean, you know, sure, that is obviously helpful for us, but I feel like this is like a, a pretty damn casual focus change. Maybe I like dealing 200 damage to myself with an RPG before entering a fight against two dome shields, mesh shields, APS turret healing, and a third party on their way. And a cool change is that the solo bank it mode was now added to private matches, which is actually really nice for that kind of free-for-all. Uh, and shout out to everyone, of course, that participated in my Discord, because we actually did a games night recently, uh, where we did things like sword light only. Um, you know, and this will be perfect for more of them uh, that we might run in the future. So if you would like to join us, of course, uh, my Discord is going to be linked in the description for this video in particular. Hey, Skiga! I don't know why I'm hey, you, but I'm not. No, I don't know. Oh, oh come no. on. No! Dixie actually wins it. That's crazy. Come on, see yes! you come. come on, come on! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you think he wins again? Nice try, nice try. Come on! Now, a great change for you if you don't play the ranked mode. A wave of frustration, of course, sparked once the win one tournament in Circuit 1 Stage 3 contract was a requirement to progress. Players were essentially just discussing, you know, it's like, hey, it, it, it was an oversight because, you know, there was a removal of unranked tournaments. So now basically it forced people to be playing in the ranked mode instead. I'm pleased to announce that they've now changed this to uh, deal 750 fire damage to opponents. So you don't now need to be queued with players like this. Now, I understand that it's obviously a good change for people. Um, I just want to say, though, personally, I do think, you know, th this is obviously considered a challenge circuit, right? You know, so it should be a challenge, uh, which is why I understood, obviously, you know, with the unranked tournament, it needing to be changed. But, you know, I think that if you kind of keep these just way too easy, then not this season, but over seasons, you know, overall as the game develops, People will just kind of find them a bit more boring, I guess, and like kind of repetitive. But hey, you know what? For now, at least everyone's happy, so I'm not going to complain. Checking out the store this week, we get three new legendary skins, which in my opinion are not really legendary. I mean, it's just kind of basic and it's a, a reskin and it looks similar to the one you got in the battle pass. It's just glitched. I don't know. I feel like this is like a normal skin. Either way, you know, instead we get this Via Arena guard set, which does look like it's actually tied in with the law. Um, there's actually a video that you get when, the, when you launch the game, and I'll play it now for you. Strategy. We'll see you next time at the finals. All right, we're out. Uh, trying to commentate in that CNS arena is driving me nuts. Yeah, but our ratings are up, and the viewers seem to be responding to CNS. Well, we're playing in their digital playground now, and we're clueless about their end goal. Sounds like you don't like the idea of a little change. A little change? They said they're here to change the game. A new arena and a bunch of new equipment? Who knows what's next? Eventually, Vaya will isolate the attack and secure the show. They won't let this go on forever. I don't know. If Volpe's tech let them in, can Vaya really kick them out? God damn it, Volpe. A theory I have is that, uh, you know, Volpe could actually be in on it. Uh, maybe let CNS in through their tech rather than them being, you know, technically hacked. Uh, but it does look as if we, you know, we have the stage set right now for potentially maybe like a Via versus CNS on the cards. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to kind of like see maybe like a game mode around this as well that we've had in previous uh, games before in history. So with the collection, we get another iteration of the Fractured Disguise Helmet, this time modified for Via. Uh, and this actually, this vest right here, I really like the look of. And it's actually kind of really cool with the, the combo, the bandana thing that I've got going on there. Um, and just other things to notice, like a, the security theme kind of like riot shield you know looks really nice uh, there's, there's like a new inspect animation with that as well and uh, also a, a a door breacher emote so it looks as if you know we're going to be continuing to turn up the heat for the lore events in the game i would you know kind of say you know start getting your popcorn ready and you know not the salty kind there's already you know too much salt in this game <laughs> in all seriousness that's basically a quick one from me this week my name has been thix and i'll see you on the podium